in the last video, we used a note in module to create a traditional pitched instrument. It's a synthesized sound, but it's traditional in that when I hit the C3 key, what I get is C3. When I hit D5, I hear a D5 note. And you might look at this and say, oh, wow, this is just a really simple module. But no, it's actually quite powerful. And when you double click and you go into the structure of it, you can see there's a lot more going on than just kind of meets the eye. And even though we get some very complex results, remember that built into this is a lot more uh, going on. So just something to uh, draw your attention to here with these reactor blocks, sort of like when you do get the modules, if you were to use like a Euro rack, you know, there's a lot of things going on in the back end of those. There's a lot of different parts and uh, things that are actually generating the sound or the envelope for you. But in this video, we're going to look at another way to trigger notes, and that is using a clock source and some kind of sequencer. So you'll see when you make a um, new reactor instrument or a new blocks instrument, the template that comes up comes with both a clock source and a note in. And this clock does sort of exactly what you think. We have 16th note here and it says gate on the top. So what this is doing is it's triggering a gate message every 16th note relative to the BPM that is set here. And then there's also a shuffle amount that you can use. So just to quickly show you how this is working, I can go in here and grab this four mod sequencer. If I just patch this up quickly, you can see we have four different options so we can set things different to one another. So it's very flexible, a lot you can do. We can adjust the number of steps up to eight. Right now it is going through all eight. And you can see that we have this now hooked into this VCA. So with this turned on, I could, for example, put this on the level. Let's bring this down to quarter notes. Let's click play. And I'm just going to adjust some of these values. And you can now see how it's hitting those different values on the quarter note. All right, and that's pretty much the idea with these step sequencers. But this one doesn't allow us to play back notes, whereas the eight step does. So let's get rid of this four mods for now and instead bring in our eight step. And you can see right away we have these different note values showing up. So when I bring the gate in here, it's now going through each quarter note. It's going to the next spot. So let's see if we can figure out how to get some sound into this thing. Well, we're going to need an oscillator, obviously. So let's bring that oscillator in. Let's hook it up and make sure we're getting some sound out of this. Oh, right now we're not, but we are getting signal, right? So signal and sound, two different things. Sound would mean that we're in an audible range. Signal means that, yeah, there is something passing through. So I need to somehow get this to be pitch tracked properly. And it's very easy to actually do that in here by just taking the pitch and running that in. And now when I click play, what we're going to hear is eventually when it gets to this C3, when it gets around, I can actually just turn them all on so it happens quicker. This is just corresponding to the fact that a gate message will trigger this. When I bring this level up, oh, it's already working for us. I click play, we can go through, and we could actually get now different values. If I bring the steps down to three, we can trigger through those like so, but this is kind of annoying because it's going to just be giving us that sustained tone the whole time. We're not able to shape it. So to take this a step further, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in our ADSR envelope. And now this one is also going to need to get a gate message from somewhere, right? And why don't we just use this clock source to do that? So it's telling this ADSR every time it flips to the next quarter note to trigger wherever this is being sent. Meaning if I take this and I run it into mod A source here on the VCA, and let's just bring this up so we can actually see what's going on. And we'll set the depth amount. We'll see that now every time it hits the next note that this is going to jump up and follow the envelope that's been set. And so this is now very useful, right? Because let's change something like a saw wave. Something like it. And now adjust the envelope. And 
just like that, we now have a little sequence going, right? And so what might be cool is to combine this with the, I don't know, the four mods. And what we'll do is we'll have the four mod controlling some kind of a filter. All right, and this is just sort of a very simplistic explanation and simplistic view of how these are working. The real power is when you actually kind of combine the clock with the node in, but we're not going to be getting that fancy here. I just want to show you the different modules and ways you can hook things up and just ways to think about it. So we're going to go and we're going to bring our filter into this signal chain. So we're going to have it come after the oscillator here. And I'm already running out of screen real estate. But we'll take the output of the oscillator, run that into the input of the filter, not into the pitch, into the input. And then we'll take the output of that and we'll run it into our guy here. But what I want is different filter uh, values. So I can use the four mod to assist in that. Just make sure that we have everything on one row. We do. So I'll take the output of this four mod and run it into the modulation A source here and again we need to get a gate message and we can just use the gate message right here snap that in like so and this one we could then actually have a different number of steps so we could use six steps instead and just go in here and i'm going to have it adjust the cutoff point so now when we're playing back here how now it's kind of changing because we don't have an even number so let's use five pretty cool right So very quickly we're able to create like this step sequencer and we could obviously push this instrument even further if we wanted to but just wanted to show you how you're not limited to the note in you can also use step sequencers to almost create more of like an arpeggiated type of a feel here in the modular framework just to show you how easily we can combine the clock and the note in what I could do is I could bring a note in here and hook it up to the gate of the four mod as compared to having the gate come from the clock source as we had before. What if I was to use a note in, what would that mean? Well, if I bring it in and if we look over here at the four mod, you see we do have this glide control which allows us to kind of smoothly go between the different settings. So what I have set up now here is every time I hit a note, we're going to move to a different spot. And so that is independent to what's happening here with the step sequencer going from the clock. So I play it back and now I start to hit some notes. So we can start to do things like that and then if we apply like a lot of key tracking let's actually put in the opposite direction 